having an airbrush machine as a cookier or cake artist. I don't do cakes, I just do cookies, just to clarify that. But I know a lot of cake artists also use airbrush machines. In my sets, usually I have at least one airbrush cookie per set and it just adds to the dimensions. It adds a lot of character and it's not as much work as piping in a lot of cases. So I have the US Cake Supply Airbrush Machine. I got it off Amazon. I think it was like a hundred bucks. So, but it is kind of an investment, but it's really worth it. I'm gonna run through in this video and show you guys some examples of really awesome detail work you can do with the airbrush machine. I just wanted to go through really quick how easy it is to work it. I don't have it plugged in here, but I can still show you how it works. So it's just this tiny little machine and it plugs in. And then it's got the hose with the pin and you do have to be really careful with this. It's kind of delicate. I've had this a year and a half now and I'm not super careful with my things. If you know me, I'm a little bit clumsy and kind of, I lose things a lot <laughs> and have a tendency to not put things back where they go. So the fact that I've been able to maintain this machine for over a year is pretty impressive and should show you that it's a really durable item. I also want to stress the importance of cleaning out your nozzle, cleaning your pen out every time you use it. I've had a lot of times where I forget and then the next day it's clogged and I have to run hot water through it <laughs> to work and today actually I had already decided I was going to do a video on my airbrush machine and then I got it out to use it and it would not work and I tried to run hot water through it and I ended up having to take the whole thing apart which you're really not supposed to do but I didn't have a choice. So make sure you clean it out every time you use it. Then literally all you do is you're going to turn it on and press this lever back and it makes the color come out. You do have to use specific type of airbrush. You can't put food coloring in this unless you really dilute it down. I'm going to have in the description the link to this machine specifically and also some links to where I like to buy my airbrush spray from. You can also adjust the intensity in which the air comes out and that's with this other button here so it can be like medium or heavy which is one thing that I really like about this airbrush. There are a lot of other options out there on the market. The ones that come with multiple guns and that way if you're using like the same two colors over and over, you don't have to keep going and rinsing out your gun every single time. You can just interchange between the two until you're completely done with that set. So that is one benefit to getting one that has multiple guns. This one has been really good to me. And like I said, I mean, I've even dropped this thing a couple of times and it's still in pretty good shape. So, Enjoy. You're going to start with a white or a light colored flooded cookie and then you're going to use your stencil holder. Mine came from Cookie Countess and you're going to snap it apart. It is magnetic. You'll put the bottom piece around the cookie. I would like to emphasize now that I did have issues with my airbrush machine this morning because I didn't clean it out properly. So my hands are covered in colors just to let you know why they're all blue and purple. This stencil came from Killer Zebras. Actually, all of the stencils in this video came from there. And this one is actually multiple pieces. So as you can see, this one is the first piece, which is labeled at the top. And I'm going to snap that into place over my cookie. I'm just looking for the best position as far as where the flowers are located on this particular cookie. I've loaded my airbrush gun with a pink color and I'm just going to go over these flowers in the pink airbrush. I just have it on the medium setting and I'm just going to go back and forth and back and forth. You do want to make sure to airbrush directly over top of the stencil. If you go in it sideways, it could possibly cause it to leak and bleed into other areas of the cookie and mess up your stencil appearance. Now I'm going to go in with the second layer of my stencil, 
which is going to be some extra accent flowers and some leaves and things like that. So I'm going to add in some yellow to my gun after I get the stencil set in and spray that on. Don't forget to rinse that pink out of your airbrush gun before putting the yellow color in. Now I'm going to come in with my last layer of this stencil and it's going to hit all of the stems and leaves. You do have to just make sure that these line up perfectly and it has the outlines on the stencil to line up with the colors you have already done. 